this tutorial is going to basically concentrate on exercise two in the PDF document. And in this exercise, we're basically going to create uh, the supporting leg members for this uh, bridge structure. Now, from the last exercise, basically uh, from the previous exercise, we have uh, these four leg members uh, created, vertical leg members. Uh, unfortunately, the, the leg members that we want uh, for this particular structure are uh, not, not that simple, okay? So um, in this exercise, we're going to introduce you to several important commands that are used for geometry generation by our STAT users uh, on a regular basis. And you basically have to master those in, be, in order to create uh, really uh, uh, nice and fancy models inside this product, okay? So the first uh, command that I'm going to show you is called the insert node command. On the left-hand side of your screen, you have uh, a beams cursor, right? So just click on, you know, uh, each of those beam members. I mean, in, by using the beams cursor, you can basically click on any beam member. Now, what we'll do is we'll basically select a, a, a leg member, okay? And what we'll do is we'll subdivide it into smaller pieces. Uh, first, we'll basically divide it into half, okay? So uh, if you right click on this leg member and you click on insert node, what it'll do is it'll pop up a, a dialog box. Okay. And it'll ask you, you know, how, where do you want to split this member? Now, it'll also ask you how many sections you, I mean, if you wanted, you can supply the number of sections and have uh, those vertical members divided into say, you know, 10 parts. Okay. So I'm just going to hit cancel there. Now let's, press and hold the control key on our keyboards, okay? And click on each of those leg members. Now what we've done is we've created, selected multiple uh, members, okay? And if we hover your mouse on top of these beam members, you see there is a green end and there's a blue end, right? The green end basically marks the start node of that beam member and blue basically indicates the end node, okay? So what I wanted to say is with respect to the start node, I wanna create a node point at 0.5 feet or six inches, okay? So we'll just right click on these members, we'll click on insert node, and here we need to enter in the distance, okay? We'll just put in 0.5, okay? So note that the dialog box changed a bit. We can only supply, uh, you know, the distance once. And if we click on okay, what it'll do is it'll create uh, a node point for each leg member at a distance of 0 0.5 feet from the start node point, okay? Now, the leg member that we have uh, here, okay, what we'll do is we'll take, select the nodes cursor first, okay, and select the node point for that leg member, okay? Then what we'll do is we will copy that node by just right clicking on that node and clicking on copy, and then we can just right click and click on paste nodes, okay? In this dialog box, we basically have to enter in uh, relative distances, okay? So we can just say, okay, I wanna copy that node point that I've selected and uh, you know, copy it at a distance 0 0.25 along the X and 0 0.25 along the Z, okay? Now, if you click on OK, you'll see a new node point created, okay, for for uh, using using that node point, okay, the, the original leg node point. Instead, uh, you know, you can draw beam members, okay? We looked at, you know, how to create models using structure wizard. We looked at translational repeat command. But what if you wanted to draw a simple uh, stick line or, or, a, or a beam? Inside stat, if you click on geometry menu, add beam, add beam from point to point, you can basically click on the first node point, and then click on the second node point, okay, and, and create a simple beam member just graphically, okay? Now, uh, what I wanna do is I wanna split that new member that I've drawn into three parts, okay? So the easiest way you would do that is you click on the beams cursor on the left-hand side, select the beam, Okay, so I'm on page number 34 of your manual. 
okay? So we'll right click on it and click on insert node. So page 34, step number 12, okay? Now here we'll just put in number of divisions is two. If you click on add endpoints, you see uh, in this dialog box itself, it shows me three divisions, okay? Equal divisions being created. If I click on okay, uh, those divisions will now appear in the in the stat graphics okay now what we'll do is we will go in and delete these original members that we had drawn this is actually step number 11 of page 34 and after selecting those members we click on the delete key on our keyboard click on OK and click on yes okay so we have deleted all the vertical leg members and we can highlight that leg member as shown on page 35 of your manual step number 15 okay now here we're going to make use of a new command which is called a circular repeat command and this command is located in your geometry menu. So if you click on geometry menu, circular repeat, it'll pop up a dialog box asking you for, you know, basically the axis of rotation. It'll ask you for a number of steps, any node point on the axis of rotation that you can specify, and you want to connect the, the steps, okay? And First, what we'll do is we'll just copy the data that's shown on page 36 of your manual, figure 13. We'll say the axis of rotation is Y. The number of steps that we have is four. We'll click on link steps, okay? Now, we need to specify an axis, uh, a no point on the axis of rotation, okay? And if you, again, click on this notes icon, Okay, in this dialog box, you can then click on, say, node number 23, okay, right there. So that becomes your node point on the axis of rotation. What it does is it cap, cap copies node number 23 into this dialog box, okay? So now this dialog box says node number 23 is your reference point. If you click on OK, you see a small leg created right in in the graphics okay now what you can do is basically copy those leg members you can just window the leg members like this okay page 37 tells you to copy those legs you can right click click on copy and then right click click on paste beams and it'll pop up the paste with move dialog box now basically what we've done is we've, we've copied the, the leg members and the leg members are stored in the computer's memory if you wanted to see that leg member you click on reference point so this is the objects that that is stored in the in the in the memory and what you can do is you can pick a reference point okay for that object okay so i'm just going to pick maybe the topmost node point on this pyramid type structure if you click on OK, you can click on each of these legs and have that leg copied, okay, to each leg attachment, okay? Now, um, since we have uh, created, I mean, just hit Escape, okay, and click in the white space here. Now, uh, since we have, uh, we're, we're dealing with uh, 3D geometries a lot, okay, let me show you some... Uh, tips uh, that you can use to navigate in inside 3d okay now if you press the arrow keys on your keyboard it'll rotate the structure okay if you have a roller mouse button and you roll the roller away from you it'll zoom in if you roll the roller towards you it'll zoom out okay so we covered rotation and zooming now if you press and hold the roller mouse button you can pan okay so you can pan. So these tools will help you out 
to just basically navigate through the 3D environment. Now, if you right click in this graphics and you click on labels, okay, these are basically things that you can display in the graphics. So like node numbers, beam numbers, if you wanted to see the beam ends, okay, you can click on apply. It'll control the display, okay, um, in short. So that ends our exercise uh, number two, okay? Uh, and in the next exercise, we will basically look at modifying the deck geometry.